Hello YouTube, right now I'm going to be showing you is how to root your Galaxy Tab 2. Uh, I have the Wi-Fi model, the 10.1 screen display. Now I am running Android 4.1.1. 4.1.1. There, I got it. Now let me just go ahead and show you exactly what I mean when I'm saying I'm running this. Um, we go to settings. I mean about device and as you can see right there I have the model GTP5113 and then I'm running Android version 4.1.1 now right off the bat you will need to download the two files that I have um, the links on the bottom for you guys so you can download it one is Odin 3 the 1.85 version and the other one is the CT. CTF Auto Root Expresso 10 Wi-Fi. Okay, now, once you have all those extracted to your desktop, you can always take them away later, delete them, and stuff like that, okay? Um, now, you will need to put your device in... Let me just move this. You will need to put your device in downloading mode, and in order to do that, you're going to need to shut off your device, turn it off, power it down, whatever you want to say it. Any... Once your device is powered down, mine is still going, so it's still on. It's taking forever. Uh, meantime, make sure your USB is plugged in. Don't plug it into your 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 tablet yet. Just make sure it's plugged in. And I'm sorry for the darkness. Okay, mine's already off. In order to get it to downloading mode, you will need to press the power and the volume up button at the same time. As you can see up here. I'm just going to go ahead and press that for you at the same time until you get this message this one now it's just a warning saying a custom OS can cause critical problems in phone and installed applications if you want to download a custom OS press the volume down key otherwise press the volume up key to cancel so this is like where you stop and think oh void warranty or don't void warranty mm. anyways uh, let's say you say void warranty so let's just go ahead and click the volume down to continue and um, you'll get this. I already run ran Odin, uh, so uh, this is just, you won't have this. You'll probably just have that. Now let's get to it. We're gonna go ahead and plug in our device to our computer, and then we're gonna go ahead and open Odin, which is this one right here. Yes. Let me ahead and move this up. What? Now, once you have uh, opened Odin, go ahead and click, check mark the PDA and click on it. Now you're going to get the other file, which is the CF Auto Root Express Wi-Fi thingy. Just double click on it uh, and then you'll basically need to click on start. You'll see down there on the bottom you start getting all this doo -doo 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 -doo. whatever it's doing and then over here you'll say pass. Once it says pass, then you already installed, uh, you already rooted your device. Now keep in mind that if it doesn't work for you this way, you might need to install the recovery image on your on your SD card. So if that happens, just go ahead and look at XDA developers forums or just google it and you should get your 4.1.1 recover image for rooting and stuff like that just in case it's like a it's a longer process but in case if it doesn't work now your device is going to go ahead and shut down and it's going to turn back on and you'll have like a little android dude here like a red one and that basically means it's working it's magic so now mine already happened but I was blabbing over here sorry about that, didn't get to show you. I'll put a picture at the end of this or maybe somewhere in here. Now it says Android is uh, upgrading. Now you'll see super user. Now do not pay attention to this super user, the one I have over here. Uh, it's not that one. It's this little super user dude. Uh, the one that you need to have. So you just go ahead and click on it and you should have your rooted devices there. Like, let me just show you screencasts. Screencasts, you'll need a uh, super user in order to use. 
and as you can see it's functioning uh, right now mm, I'm not sure but I think super user no I already yeah just cancel this and then as you can see super user request is coming up grant access and then voila it should start working uh, so there you've rooted your device simple right um, that's it. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and y'all have a good day.